Hello everyone, this is Tina with Tiaz's Treasures and today I have for you um, a quick unboxing and some cards from Pink and Main. So let's go ahead and open up our box and see what we have. We have the tissue, some nice pink tissue. Now this month, they are starting to give us a huge um, sheet with card sketches. I don't think it's got the postcard in there anymore. I think we get uh, four card sketches. And yes, it's uh, called April 2023 Crafty Courtyard Kit Cloudy Day. And we get, let's go ahead and look at our palette here. We have Construction, which is an orange. Street Light, which is a yellow, Sunny Sky, which is a light blue, River Walk, which is a darker blue, Evening Clouds, which is a lilac, Sidewalk, which is a gray, and two sheets of, I believe this is, a, it's 110 pound, I think it's powdered sugar, it's called, oh, it's white cardstock, either way. So, let's see what's in our pouch. I could have read the list, but this is always more fun to peek at it. We have a nice confetti. These don't have any holes in them. That's pretty. Let's see. We get some enamel dots and the orange, yellow, blue, tealish, purple, and gray. An embossing folder that is a bunch of clouds that's fun to look at look at the stamp set and the matching dies there's nothing with the sentiments but that's okay they're like dream catchers and a little rainbow dream big love you to the moon and back reach for the stars our friendship is what dreams are made of may all your dreams come true since we cannot be together i hope each night to see you in my dreams that's pretty you are a shooting sky are and if you have no fear your dreams are too small and yes and all of these all of the uh, stamps other than the sentiment have um uh dies tripping over my own tongue and there's a couple extra dies that cut out like um cloud cloud background that's be handy then we get the stencil with more clouds we've got the cloud outline and the actual clouds for making cards and lastly let's take a quick look at the paper pad see if I can get that now if you st still have any stick on here your anti-static tool will take that off luckily there's no stick so let's see what the papers look like. Uh, that almost looks like a glitter sheet, but it's not. It's ombre effect. Kind of looks like a bokeh. And this is linen. That's real pretty, like a watercolor. More bokeh. Uh, looks like waves. More watercolor. Oh, this one, watercolor with stars. It's kind of like a a sunburst on craft paper that looks like oh that's gorgeous both of these like uh, sunsets or sunrise um, looks like sand and stars and watercolor oh look at all of these these are just so pretty all stars and i believe no we're not back where we started that's linen another starburst on craft Starburst on craft. That's almost glittery and ombre glitter again. And linen, and that's back where we started, yes. So those are beautiful papers. And let's go ahead and make some cards. Oh yeah, I did forget to mention, uh, we always get this nice card bag, or this nice mesh bag that fits our supplies. So make some cards okay for the first card I have got some of the blue card stock 
and I went ahead and I cut out a tag using um, a die from my stash and I already colored all of the stamps and I cut them out and I also um, heat embossed the sentiments and cut them out as well. I'm going to try to see if I can do this video without having to switch it over to a voiceover. I'm hoping that we can get through it with just um, me uh, talking in real time. So again, for this first card, I've got the blue card stock and I cut the tag out of the middle. So let's go ahead and get this glued down. And I did this uh, with all the cards. I've got them already all set up to go because I am curious to see how long it takes me to do a video without having to stop and cut things and, uh, you know, do, do that kind of thing. Um, there's a lot of noise going on in the background. My dogs just started barking at something, obviously, if you heard them. And, you know, everything was quiet until I came in my craft room and started working. And my husband's doing some work and my upstairs, so hopefully that's not too loud. So for this piece of pattern paper, I've got some foam tape already on the, on the back. So we're going to pop this portion up. And this card kit has just got some really, really pretty pattern paper, like I told you when I unboxed it. And it's got some really lovely quotes. And uh, I just really had fun coloring everything and getting this card set up. So I've got some white twine that I already tied in a little bow. And I think that you can do a whole lot with this kit. I could probably do a whole lot more cards. Um, I've used all of the sentiments, though, so you would I would have to reuse them if I did some more cards, which, I mean, we do that all the time as card makers. We don't use a sentiment once and, you know, decide we can't use it anymore. At least I would hope that's what you do. I... I I know I've got a lot of stuff in my stash that I need to get rid of at some point. I need to like de-stash. So far, I have not been able to bring myself to do that, which is why my craft room is just overflowing with stuff. And I gotta say, a lot of it, oh no, I put that a little higher than I wanted. Let's see if I can move that down. Oh well. The reason it's higher than I wanted was because I was going to put these little stars in each corner. I could still do that, but uh, I may have to rethink. Ah, and it just fell right down there. I may have to rethink where I put the sentiment. I was going to put it down further. See, because, because it's square and the tag is shaped differently. I mean, I could do that, but I'm not sure I like that at an angle. What do you think? Should I keep it at an angle? I mean, I could put it there and then put this little star there. I suppose. I guess that's what I'm going to have to do now. Let's go ahead like that. I mean, because I was thinking of there, but I have all this empty space there now. So, you know, you just got to change your plans sometimes on the fly when you're doing cards. Because sometimes we just mess up and I mess up more than, more than others. And now let me bring in some enamel dots. What color you think? Um, the yellow ones are pretty with this. Of course, the yellow ones are going to be pretty. Uh, gray, orange, orange gives some contrast, blue, mm. uh, yellow, we're going to just choose yellow, uh, put one there, 
And now I don't know exactly what I'm doing with these. A lot of times I just kind of stick them wherever. I'm famously always putting them in the corners there. I mean, pretty much this is where my, my enamel dots always go. But hey, I'm a creature of habit. What can I say? So I love you to the moon and back. I already decorated the inside. May all your dreams come true. I put a little strip down, which I'm noticing it's a little crooked. Hey, like I said, me and my my um <laughs> me and my cards. I always do something a little goofed up on them. So that's card one. Now for card two, I have got a purple background here. And I've got a stripe of pattern paper. And I also, I emboss this little cloud, um, this little star with the cloud background. You can't see it too well. I run it through again, but I was having trouble lining it up, so I just decided this was good enough. But yeah, I took an infinity die, a star infinity die, and cut that out. We're gonna use that along with the embossed pattern paper, the little clouds. And I've got my sentiment on some foam along with the little decorated star. So let's go ahead and glue our lilac paper down. Now this one, I cut out a border around. Let's see what I can do here. So I hope you guys are having a really lovely spring. Um, the weather here has been nuts. It's cold, then it's hot, then it's cold, then it's hot. And we're in a cold spot again. So gives me a chance to stay in. Not that I go outside a lot anyway until it really gets hot out. I'm going to glue this strip here right in the middle. At least kind of middle, I guess. We're gonna glue the our little star right on top of it. So yeah, my husband is still working on my upstairs bathroom. I'm still, it's in the um, in the process of being remodeled, which is a pain because I have nothing in that room and I have to come all the way downstairs every night to use the restroom, which can be a bit of a pain when that kind of thing wakes you up, which it does. It wakes me up and then I try to get back to sleep again. And I shouldn't be drinking uh, that much water at night anyway, but I do. Uh, now I'm telling you like way too much of my habits, like TMI, sorry. <laughs> get this popped up. There we go. We're just going to put that right there. Okay, we're going to move it over just a little bit. Let me get some double-sided tweezers. Get some here from Pink and Main. Which, how about right there? That looks like a good place. And reach for the stars. And I did do the inside of all these cards before I started filming because I had some leftover sentiments and the sentiments I didn't have left over, I just um, stamped a few things on the inside. This one says, you are a shooting star. You know, reach for the stars outside. Now this one, let's, um, I dropped my enamel dots. Let's, uh, oh. Some cat hair on my enamel dots. My cat likes to come in here. So let's go ahead and use some of these purple enamel dots for this. And normally when I'm card making, I do like to also like listen to music a lot in the background, but YouTube um, does not allow you to do that. <laughs> it's, it's like, unless it's copyright free music, which I normally don't listen to. I listen to like, um, 
I don't know. I listen to a wide variety of different musics from all the way from the 60s to like the 2000s. I don't listen to a whole lot of stuff that is uh, popular now. I think that might be because I don't have any kids in the house anymore, no teenagers. So I don't really get a chance to listen to newer music. You rock. It looks like you dork. <laughs> that would be me. I would be the dork, not you. So I cut this down, this A2 card down. Uh, I cut the orange paper to four by five and a half. And I just kind of put it down in the wrong spot. Let's pull that up and see if I can reposition it. And the reason I even made a frame, you know, cut the card, the card stock down was because I don't know about you, but when I'm cutting out my card bases, so often they are not the exact size. The white card bases aren't the exact size of like four and a quarter. They're a little over or a little short. And even though I'll like put them on the line when I'm cutting, it just, uh, they don't cut evenly. So I've been debating like getting a ream of paper and taking it to somewhere to have it professionally cut. It just drives me nuts. I don't know why I can't get a perfect cut on those things. And I've tried. Sometimes, of course, it's my card stock, like my orange card stock or the different ones that I cut wrong. But more often, it's like the white. Like, look, um, it's just always something. And so with this card here, it is another flat card. I went ahead and look at that. See, I cannot get it even in the right spot. Ah. I forgot what I was saying now. <laughs> so I, there's, I've got it like about an inch, inch and a half stripe here going down the center. And I took a spellbinders die and I just cut out like a fancy little little rectangle it's not exactly a rectangle but you know close enough so we got that there cut out and it's got these fun little circles going away around now my first time I, I tried cutting out a slightly bigger one and I did not realize that I needed to use two dies because the one die only cut out the decorative like circles and I was stuck with um, a weird, a weird uh, weirdness on my card. So I had to redo it and come back and use the two, the outer one and then the inner one. And that probably didn't sound like it made a lot of sense. I like the way the cardstock in the back is showing through here. Yeah, it didn't make sense because I'm just, you know, don't know what I'm talking about. Okay. Now, I stamped all of these stamps out using, I want to say, um, I used some Hero Arts Intense Black ink. And I used alcohol markers to color them. A mix of Copic and Spectrum Noir tri-blends. When I was pulling out my tri-blends, I kind of noticed I only had the one yellow with them. And so I may have to buy another box. <laughs> um, yeah, leave it to me to have to like keep buying stuff, even though I've got Copics. I need more of the tri-blends now. So where should we put this? What do you think? Down there, off to the side. Uh, maybe off to the side this way. Or how about just right there in the center, right below that. And we'll use some more enamel dots. This time, I guess we could use them in the blue because we have the blue there. So we'll use the blue ones. Uh, I hear my cat now meowing. He wants in the room because I closed the door on him. Well, he can wait a few minutes. 
I've got his cat bed in here, though, because that way the dogs don't bother him too much. See what I said about the two in the upper right and one in the lower left? It's kind of kind of my jam. That's where my, my enamel dots go. So in this card, we've got um, our friendship is what dreams are made of. May all your dreams come true on the outside. So that's card number three. So we're moving along at a nice pace here. Now, I like this card. I like the little, um, this card. I like the rainbow. I think that's a lot of fun. Um, if it had one more layer or one more arch, we could have put purple in there as well. Now, I might have to go over the orange again because it's not very defined from the yellow. They kind of look similar. So anyway, let's go ahead. We'll glue down this piece of gray cardstock. And I'm going to use my score buddy here to get it lined up nice and even because you've seen how well I put cards, uh, card bases on. I usually screw them up if I do it by myself without sort of some sort of guide. Now this card base is cut perfectly because I checked before I started filming. Now I've got some foam tape on the back of this pattern paper already. So we're gonna pop this up. And this is a uh, foam tape from a cherry on top, a great big roll. I think it, it wasn't too expensive at all. It was really affordable. And we're gonna, just gonna try to center that. That didn't turn out too bad. And we're gonna glue down, um, ah, geez. Let me make sure I've got everything where I want it to go before I start gluing these down. And we'll put that like that. And this gives this plenty of room down there to put our sentiment. So anyhow, if you enjoy watching my videos, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe. I'm trying to get up to 600 and at this rate it's taking me quite a while. I don't know why it seemed to have stalled out. I think it was because I had like a whole month there where I hardly did any videos and that really takes a toll. At least it did in my case. The algorithm said, huh, you've got nothing to, uh, to film, nothing for our algorithm to index. Well, we're not going to show anybody your videos then. And that's what happened. It's like, I don't think my videos are being shown to anybody else new. So, you know, it's kind of like I need to prove that people like me. I don't know that they do, but the algorithm certainly wants me to prove it. So we've put the, let's see, I've got most of my, actually, yeah, most of my sentiments are in the middle. So we can go there, or we can go there. I kind of like it. Mm -hmm. Let's put it on this side. There we go. I think this pattern paper is beautiful. And now I've got this big open spot there. So we're going to do about that. I mean, I could put a couple. Eh, why not? We'll put a couple, uh, a couple little dots. In this case, what is that on there? A little piece of glue. I don't know what that is. Ugh. Whatever it is, it's stuck to my enamel dot. I think it's a piece of adhesive there. Now it's stuck to my finger. <laughs> okay, one more enamel dot. We'll kind of, how about that? How's that look? I'm going to keep it just out of laziness. So we have, if you have no fear, your dreams are too small. And then on the inside, dream big. And I've got a couple yellow stars there. 
piece of pattern paper. So now for our last card. I just love, love, love this pattern paper that is so pretty. It's got like a watercolor look. And it's just, I love it. And I'm pairing it with the yellow cardstock because I just think the contrast is beautiful. I don't know, it just sounds like a, my cat and my dog are getting ready to go at it. And believe me, the kitty can hold his own against the dogs. Uh, I forgot to bring my score buddy in. Here we go. Score buddy. Uh, see, I've got, see what I mean when I say I got a little bit of the white showing. Though I cut it down, it just, still, I am not going to let that little bit bother me, mostly because the yellow, it's not too bad against. If this was like a blue cardstock or black and you've seen that, that would be really, really bad. Later on, I'll probably, knowing me, I'll go back and try to trim off that little piece of white anyway. But for now, I am not going to let it um, stop the video. Okay, we'll get this centered where it's supposed to go, or at least kind of where it's supposed to go. There. And this was a lot of fun coloring. Now, I only used like uh, the two shades on the bigger stars, and I used two blues on the clouds, kind of to give it a little bit of definition. Could have left it white. And I could learn how to glue. <laughs> I'm squeezing it a little bit too much. And I did think about popping these up, but I, when I thought about trying to get little bitty pieces of foam tape cut down to these stars, I just decided that was a little bit too much work. <laughs> so I didn't do it. I just figured I would glue this down flat. I'm going to put it right there in this upper center of the card get everything now this i am not sure um i think i'm going to just put it in the center again now these uh sentiments do not come with dies so i just cut out everything in a rectangle you know, me being the Lazy Crafter. That would have been a great, great name for my channel, the Lazy Crafter. But for this one here, I am going to take, instead of the enamel dots, I've got these stars from Love from Lizzie. And I am going to just put some of these in the background. And I think I'll use, these are the biggest stars on the sheet. There's some tiny, tiny ones down there. They look so cute. And I don't know exactly how many of these to put on. Uh, just kind of, hmm. Uh, should I put one up there? I don't want it to be boom, 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 boom in a square. Um, you know what? I think that might just be it. I am so afraid of putting them in the wrong spot that I'm not going to put any more down. And so this one, this is really pretty sentiment. Since we cannot be together, I hope each night to see you in my dreams. And the inside just simply says, may all your dreams come true. I got a couple more of those stars on there and a piece of the pattern paper. So here are my five cards. Let's give you a look at them again. Here's card one. Got two. Please let me know which one's your favorite. And if you enjoyed this video, let me know. And if you didn't, I'd love to hear from you anyway. And here are these five amazing cards. 
So anyway, that's it for now. Bye-bye, everyone.